Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Level 2 Researcher Theron Sherman, and the purpose of this broadcast is to brief you on SCP-4892. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4892 is to be contained within a secure storage chamber at Site and kept under surveillance by two security personnel at all times. All individuals working with SCP-4892 are to undergo mental resistance therapy before beginning their assignment, in order to ensure no adverse mental influence takes place. Tracking of Group of Interest 1999, codenamed the Order of the Rotten God, and its members is to be handled by the Foundation's Intelligence Agency. Description SCP-4892 is a bovine carcass in a state of advanced decomposition, which is host to an incorporeal extra-dimensional entity capable of exerting significant mental influence over extremely large distances. The potential range of SCP-4892's mental influence is currently unknown, but is believed to, at minimum, encompass the entirety of the planet. Mental interference from SCP-4892 comes in the form of extremely vivid and disturbing dreams, which the victim will experience over an extended period of time, with known durations ranging from one week to six months. Despite the disturbing nature of these dreams, victims of SCP-4892's mental influence will invariably come to see it as a benevolent figure, commonly adopting the view that its current physical host must be destroyed in order to free the extra-dimensional entity. Although compromised individuals believe that this will then allow said extra-dimensional entity to recreate the physical world into a more ideal state, it is the belief of the Foundation analysts that this could instead become the trigger for an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. The majority of individuals compromised by SCP-4892 have organized into a religious group named the Order of the Rotten God, and frequently launch attacks upon the Foundation and other anomalous groups in an effort to locate their deity. Addendum 4892-1, Retrieved Audio Log The following is an audio log retrieved from an abandoned Order of the Rotten God recruiting station in New York City on March 17, 2020. The log consists of a conversation between the leader of Group of Interest 1999, Carson McKenzie, and a new recruit identified as a local occult enthusiast, Daniel Boone. Begin log. Well, I'd like to thank you, son, for coming in to see me today. I know that must have taken some courage on your part, what with my community's reputation. Um, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I just... Come on now, there's no need to be nervous. I'm a fella just like you. I don't bite. Call me Carson, or Mr. McKenzie, if that'd make you a tad more comfortable. Yes, thank you, Mr. McKenzie. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Let me try and guess why you're here today, Danny boy. You had a dream, right? Yes, yes, that's it. One of my cabal friends referred me to you after I mentioned these dreams. I've been having them for uh, two weeks now, every night. Real bad ones. Yes, yes, I can see. And you close your eyes in your comfy bed, and when you open them, you're in a slaughterhouse. That's right, ain't it? Danny, you remember the slaughterhouse, don't you? That's... that's exactly right. You remember what it looks like? Describe it for me. Well, it's... it's an awful place. Full of blood and guts all over the walls. From all sorts of animals. Humans, even. Yeah, humans too. It's just the most horrible thing. And then, there's the cow. The... the cow? The one in the center of the slaughterhouse? The one that's been rotten for a while, skull all exposed. Remember? Of course. I could never forget that thing. Just awful. Well, everyone thinks that the first time they see it. But then you get a better look. And you can see it's actually looking out for you. You know, the, uh, uh the word... Benevolent. It's like you're having a big, fluffy coat put over you. <laughs> yeah. Felt nice. I felt the same way when it happened to me, son. As did all the members of my community. You felt as if this cow, if it weren't trapped in that rotten old corpse, could do so much good for the world, right? Yeah, I thought that the moment I saw it. <sighs> but it's far away, locked up. It's real? Of Course it's real, son. The human mind can't make up that kind of thing. Do you, do you know where it is? We've gotta help get it out of there. Can I help, mister, please? Well, I'm sure we can find some use for you, son. And log. Hmm. Additional authentication accepted. Please proceed, agent. Item number, SCP-4892. Object class, not applicable. 
Special Containment Procedures. Reports on the activities of Group of Interest 1999, codenamed the Order of the Rotten God, are to be submitted twice a week to the intelligence agency by Agent Glenn. Any scheduled raids on the Foundation or other groups of interest are to be approved by Director Rose of the intelligence agency before action may be taken. In order to maintain information security, full information on SCP-4892 is only available to members of the intelligence agency directly involved with its operation, as well as the O5 Council. Description According to the official Foundation database, SCP-4892 is a bovine carcass in a state of advanced decomposition, which is host to an incorporeal extra-dimensional entity capable of exerting significant mental influence over extremely large distances. This is a falsehood. In actuality, SCP-4892 does not exist. SCP-4892, as described in official Foundation records, was created for the purposes of providing a backstory for Group of Interest 1999, the Order of the Rotten God, a group which is currently used as a proxy for the Foundation's own interests. Group of Interest 1999 is currently led by Agent Simon Glenn, using the cover identity of Carson McKenzie. Agent Glenn and several other embedded operatives within Group of Interest 1999 are the only individuals in the group aware of SCP-4892's non-existence. All other members have been legitimately recruited to the organization and fully believe in the mythology and deity created for it. Recruitment in Group of Interest 1999 is achieved via subtly exposing the individual to mimetic agents, which create an unclear but negative dream state. The details of this dream were then solidified within the individual's mind upon suggestion from a recruiter. Group of Interest 1999 serves three primary purposes. Consolidation of potential threats. Those recruited into Group of Interest 1999 are selected from a pool of individuals, determined by the intelligence agency to have the potential to become threats to the Foundation in the future, whether through joining the ranks of a rival group or via an individual effort. By recruiting them into Group of Interest 1999 before they can present such a threat, these individuals can become assets rather than obstacles. Interaction with hostile groups. Due to Group of Interest 1999's open opposition to the Foundation, they are able to interact on neutral or even positive terms with groups that share similar views, enabling them to come into possession of intelligence that the Foundation acting alone would be unable to. This intelligence is then transferred to the Foundation via reports from embedded agents. Deniable Action in the majority of cases where the Foundation has engaged in hostilities with another group in order to gain custody of a dangerous anomaly, said groups have engaged in retaliatory action against the Foundation at a later date, resulting in casualties among personnel and potential breaches of containment. By having Group of Interest 1999 take action as a proxy combatant, taking custody of an anomaly, under the guise of attempting to retrieve their deity, these retaliatory attacks will thus be focused on Group of Interest 1999 rather than the Foundation and the relevant anomaly can then be retrieved from Group of Interest 1999 through a staged raid at a later date. Since the establishment of the Order of the Rotten God project on September 2nd, 2015, it has been instrumental in the retrieval of 49 anomalous objects later given SCP designation. Addendum 4892-1 Memo Intelligence Agency Director Ezekiel Rose, September 2nd, 2020 Today marks the fifth anniversary of the establishment of Group of Interest 1999 and I couldn't be more pleased with its success. Make no mistake, the success is due to the hard work of every single one of you who has worked on this project. From our own Agent Glenn who has spearheaded this great effort, to every single data analyst who helped us to build our pool of recruits. You, every one of you brave men and women, have formed a great cage with your wit to contain the threats to the foundation we all serve, and indeed, to drag new anomalies behind those bars as well. When I first became director five years ago, I made no secret of my disappointment in the path we had taken thus far. We had grown content to merely listen and watch, looking through keyholes into the world outside, reporting our findings as if we were children on the playground running to tattle like a teacher. We had forgotten what it was to act, to decide what shape the world would take. And now, on this day, I feel like we have finally learnt that again. I cannot overstate how proud I am of all of you, as if you were all my own children. Hold your heads high, you've earned it, and never doubt you've done the right thing. In the past, we at the intelligence agency have been subject to naysayers who doubt the necessity of our methods, as well as their effectiveness. This is what I have said to these people every single time. Try not to worry about it. There's far more of us than you'd expect, and far less of you. <laughs>